So in last video, I asked you guys, what was a bad experience that you had that led to either a good outcome or a good lesson? And we got a lot of replies. Now, Fostered Ghost said, getting into foster care and learning a bigger lesson on how grateful my situation can be because it can really change so fast one night that's crazy that's it's great to hear somebody so young say something so positive because a lot of young people are really negative you're in a situation that you don't hear about a lot you don't hear a lot of people saying that they grew up in a foster home that's something from stories that you hear you don't actually hear real people gone through that experience and that's really awesome that you're able to kind of go through this experience and take away from it because there's not a lot of other people who can have that experience because they grew up with a family. No offense. Lebecki says, I was slash am bad at talking to people and keeping conversations. I got a job where I am forced to talk to others and now it's easier. A great way when you're younger to grow is to do something that's extremely uncomfortable, which for a lot of people, including myself, was getting a job. It's one of the most uncomfortable things ever, but it teaches you to grow so fast. At the time, you don't even realize it until you think one day, oh yeah, I used to be bad at talking to people, and the only reason why I'm not bad at doing it now is because I got this job. R says, not watching Gage's videos frequently. Fix that now, though. Dude, thanks so much, man. Helps me out. Hopefully helps you out. Darnell says, I lost the only friend group I've had in 8th grade. But a year and a half later, it led to me realizing that I've changed into a better person and that I was only like the way I was because I was trying to fit in with them. It, yeah, it is crazy how when you're younger, you're influenced by your peers a lot more than you think you are. And it's not until a lot later in life, and I don't mean like 40 years old, I mean around 19 or 20, where you start developing that, where other people don't actually influence you, you realize that you only allow people to influence you. So for instance, if a friend had a bad action, and I let that rub off on me, I was the one letting it rub off on me. I was choosing to incorporate that into myself. But as a kid, it's a lot more subconscious and you don't think of it that way. And it's great that you got out of that situation, man. And it sounds like you really grown. Dibsy says, when I was younger, I was a frequent liar, especially in middle school. It made me lose friends that could have lasted a long time had I not lied to them so much. It was over the years that I saw how badly my lies affected others in a loss of my best friend. I'm now a super honest guy and practically never lie. Yeah, a lot of kids lie. I was a huge liar as a kid too. I feel like lying is some sort of self-defense mechanism for kids who had strict parents and they just become chronic liars as they grow. Is because they're just so scared of being reprimanded by their parents for doing something so little that they feel like they have to lie about everything. And then they it turns into that even when they're not around their parents, it's just a normal behavior to lie about everything and it's great that you found that early and fixed that with yourself because down the road it could have been such a bigger issue than what it was right now and it seems like you got it pretty under control and I'm proud of you man and last but not least this was the most heartfelt <coughs> Tyler says I was forced to become a sex worker and found out anal isn't my thing profound dude so my question for next video is what caused a domino effect of events in your life this could be just one thing that led to another thing and then that thing led to another thing so the domino effect it's just awesome because there are so many domino effects in your life but you don't really think of it until you think of an actual thing that happened so thanks so much for watching the video i hope to read your comments in the next one see you guys